good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen when the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even brightly shone the moon at night though the frost was cruel when a poor man came inside gathering winter fuel Sir, he lives a goodly hens underneath a mountain right against a forest fence by St. Agnes Fountain Boxing Day in Bohemia many, many years ago a cold, harsh place to live in wintertime. Just look at that poor man. It's the Feast of Stephen, the palace is full of food and cheer, yet he has to scavenge in the snow. Who is he, Stefan? His name I know not, sire. But his home, such as it is, lies at the foot of the mountains. Well, tonight our hungry, cold friend shall eat and drink to his heart's content. Have my coach loaded with a cask of wine and a table full of gourmet food. We're off to the mountains. But, 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 but your guests, sire. Oh, they can see me any time. But, 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 but you've given the servants the night off. There's no driver for the coach. Oh, very well. We'll go on foot. But, 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 huh? Oh, do cheer up, Stefan. It's Christmas. Oh. King Wenceslas was as good as his word. Soon, he and his faithful page, Stefan, stole silently out of the palace. With respect, uh, this really is too bad, sire. Imagine if your subjects were to see their monarch out on a, uh, a delivery round. Oh, stuff and nonsense. Who'd recognize me dressed like this? Hey, that's the king! Good evening, sire, and Merry Christmas. The king! Can't be. Carry him food and drink. Dear Paige, where are you going on a night like this? Uh, I am assisting the king in carrying sustenance to the old man at the foot of the mountain. What? What a king. <laughs> a fool, more like. If he is a fool, he's a fool who cares too much. Bless him. Page and monarch, forth they went. Forth they went together. Through the rude winds, wild lament, and the bitter weather. Wenceslas was a popular king. As a child, he was brought up by his devoted grandma, Ludmilla. For his mother, Drahomira, the queen of Bohemia, was a greedy, wasteful tyrant and had little time for him. To her, he was just too, well, good. Now before me. So, this is the wretch who steals my animals, eh? The young peasant boy had been caught hunting in the royal forests. If you please, madam, my brothers and sisters, my, my mother and father are starving. <laughs> hunting in my forests is for sport, not food. Perhaps we should roast you in the palace kitchen and send you home for your miserable family to eat. A punishment to fit the crime. Take him out, give him a head start, and then hunt him down like an animal. And if you're lucky enough to escape, don't show your face in my kingdom again! But, Mother... Hold your tongue, fool, unless you care to join this oaf. Take him away! <laughs> mercy! Mercy! No, please! Mercy! <laughs> Who is it? Man, they're going to chop off my head. Help! Mm. Shh, shh, shh. It's only me. No one should be hunted down like an animal. Now go, 
Take care, and take this food. Oh, bless you, sire. In the months that followed, the queen's behavior grew worse, and the people of Bohemia became very restless. Cold, hungry, and penniless, they resented seeing their ruler wasting money on fine jewelry, new clothes, and extravagant banquets. Is it not a magnificent coat, Wenceslas? Yes, mother. But... Which color? Maybe I should just take them all. It's about time you treated yourself to something new. Move, pest, if you want to keep your head. Smart, eh, Gregor? What do you want? Your Majesty, I think you should know there's yet another angry mob at the gates. Is that all? You interrupt me at a time like this, talking peasants? Don't even pack your bags. Get out of my palace, now! Of course, ma'am. But Gregor has been your loyal servant for over 20 years. <sighs> what a racket! Keep the noise down or you'll have me to answer to! Mother, I think we're in serious trouble. <laughs> How can we be? We're the royal family. A mob has just broken through the palace gates. Well, they better not come up here. <laughs> Quiet, girl. We speak for the people of Bohemia, and we can stand your tyrannical rule no longer. We are taking control of your kingdom. How dare you! I request you to surrender. This is treason! And what do you plan to do with us, exactly? That is for the people to decide. Of course! Now, will you gentlemen join me in a final drink before you take me away? No, thank you. Oh, come on! No! Poison! This way, Mother! Hey, you're spilling my drink! I'm impressed with you, Wenceslas, for the first time in my life. But where are we? How did you know about this place? Grandma Lord Miller showed it me years ago. Oh, her. Oh, I wish I'd had time to bring Trudy with us. <laughs> so, it was either me or the dog. Exactly, Mother. Better move. Faster. <laughs> oh, this dirty hole is playing havoc with my clothes. Oh, oh, I'll need a new wardrobe when this is over. Hurry. The revolutionaries are right behind us. Do you know where we're going, Wenceslas? I think so. I used to play in here as a child. No, oh, well, I wouldn't know anything about that. <sighs> here we are, Mother. It leads to the river. You go first. Certainly. Oh! Are there spiders, Wenceslas? I hate them. Spiders are the least of our problems. Oh, it's getting wetter and wetter in here. Good. That means we're nearly there. Wait till I get my hands on those revolting peasants! No! But how? Gregor! 
You betrayed me? <laughs> of course, Mom. The Queen spent the next few days back in her palace, but now she remained firmly below stairs. Tea time, your highness. I don't eat slops. Bring me some real food. <coughs> oh, someone's going to pay for this. Poor Wenceslas was a prisoner too. But his sunny nature shone through, even in his desperate situation. There, my feathered friend. It's not much, but it's all I have for you. Food and drink for you, sire. Thank you, Igor. <laughs> I might have known. Where are you? <laughs> we'll have a fine feast together. Tuck in. It saddened Igor to see Wenceslas, a young man who had lost everything, yet found contentment in sharing his meager rations with a humble prison rat. The next day, a people's court was hastily set up, and Wenceslas and the Queen were brought before it. The good people of this court have carefully considered the Queen's behavior towards her subjects, and have judged that our royals are unfit to reign over us, and are guilty as charged. Have you anything to say before I pronounce sentence upon you both? Huh. Well, I have plenty to say. <laughs> Silence! You will return to your cells to await execution at dawn tomorrow. Igor's heart sank. He knew the queen deserved her sentence, but not the young prince. Long live the Republic! 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 What? Oh, Trudy! You found me! Oh, good girl! Now, let's see if you're a clever girl. Look, Trudy. Keys. Fetch! Go on, girl. Fetch the keys. Wake up! Idiot! Let him die! Uh, what happened? Uh, uh, sire! You could have escaped, but you stayed to save me. Oh. Then allow me to help you in return. Now, with my old cloak, 
you'll have a sporting chance. Lock me in, and I'll give you five minutes before I raise the alarm. Good luck, sire. Oh, don't worry. I'll keep her safe. Bless you, Igor. All part of the service, sire. I'll never forget you, my friend. About time, too. Follow me, mother. I just hope you know what you're doing. Taking the queen for questioning. Prince Wenceslas? Don't you remember me? Of course. You're the lad caught hunting in my mother's forests. And you helped me escape. You did what, Wenceslas? So, now I can return your kindness. I won't raise the alarm. Good luck, sire. My mother and I thank you from the bottom of our hearts. There's only one horse, so Wenceslas will have to find his own. Going somewhere, your highness. Don't you peasants ever sleep? Take her away. stands our ex-queen before you, guilty of tyranny as charged. And beside her, another guilty party. This man, having aided in her escape, is just as evil as she is. No, he's not. What? Who said that? I did. It's Wenceslas. Yes, it's him you want, not me. <laughs> You see before you a good man, a kind soul, a brave soul. My life may be over in Bohemia, but... No! No! I say Wenceslas should be our king. You can see he's a brave, kind and gentle fellow who has surrendered himself to save another. Is it any wonder that I had to let him escape? Choose him! And you'll choose well! Wenceslas for king! Wenceslas for king! Wenceslas for king! Wenceslas for king! Will you do it? Well, yes, of course. Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the king! Celebrations everywhere. I'll need a whole new wardrobe of. <laughs> <laughs> you wretches! Well, aren't you going to punish them for me? No, Mother. You've done more than enough harm to our kingdom. The time has come for you to leave the people in peace. You are exiling me? Yes, if you want to put it that way, I am. <laughs> Where's he gone? When Sirslas was duly crowned and ruled Bohemia in the way his people wanted, they couldn't have wished for a better king than good King Wenceslas. Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the
too far now, Stefan, hey? Uh, uh, thankfully not, sire. Begging your pardon, sire. Perhaps you'd care to take a moment's respite with your load? Hmm? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a rest, you mean? Oh, yes, Stefan, I could do with a break. Time to push on. B -b 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 oh, yes, sire. But it won't be easy. The snow is getting deeper. <sighs> well, don't worry, Stefan. I shall go first, making big footprints with my boots. You step in them. It'll be just like walking on hard ground. Oh, thank you, sire. In his master's steps he trod, where the snow lay dented. It was in the very sod which the saint had printed. Therefore, Christian men, be sure, wealth or rank possessing, ye who will now bless the poor, shall yourselves find blessing. Uh, uh, oh! I say, the old man's cottage at last. Oh, come in. Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to my humble home. Oh, you look half starved. Warm yourselves by the fire. Thank you. It's a raw night to be traveling, friends. My table is meager, but you're more than welcome to share what little there is. Uh, but, but... Now, now, I insist. <laughs> Tuck in, lads. <laughs> no need to feel guilty about eating. <laughs> A Merry Christmas to all of us. Ah, <sighs> my good man. We really shouldn't be taking your food, you see. Nonsense, young fellow. <laughs> and you're both welcome to shelter here overnight, if you wish. If you want to repay me, the big fellow here can chop up some logs for me. I'm getting a little too old, I'm afraid. But, 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 but him? Chop logs? <laughs> You know who he is. <laughs> no, I'm afraid I don't. Although, oh, yes. Oh, it is you. Thank you so much for the food and drink. Oh, all part of the service, sire. <laughs> <laughs> After all these years, it was truly a night of celebration. Even Stefan the Page made merry. Igor was invited to live at the palace, and, of course, he wanted for nothing for the rest of his life. Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen, when the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even, brightly shone the moon at night, though the frost was cruel, when a poor man came inside, gathering winter fuel. In his master's steps he trod, where the snow lay dented. It was in the very sod, which the saint had printed. Therefore, Christian men, be sure, wealth or rank possessing, ye who will now bless the poor, shall yourselves find blessing. 